Hey everybody, Phil here with CarCraft Classics. Today showing off some new inventory. Got a great classic Corvette waiting for us outside, but I thought I'd start here in the shop since uh, we got some brand new neon signs in. I know most people follow us on social media uh, for our cars and our classic trucks, but uh, we also sell these really sweet neon signs. Let's have a look. These signs are handcrafted right here in the good old US of A. They are just incredible. These particular signs are 36 inches tall and uh, made out of an aluminum. Uh, the box is aluminum and uh, this is hand bent neon. We just picked up these three. We have the Hearst Shift floor shifter sign. We have the Moon Eyes sign and we've got the Mopar sign. These retail for $1,350 and with some of our vehicles this month that we're selling, we're going to include one of these signs. Uh, free of charge. We've also got the beautiful Chevy bow tie sign. That sign is six feet wide and two feet tall. That's a rather large sign and that one retails for uh, $29.95 but uh, because it's a floor display model we're going to uh, discount that down to $24.95 so let me know if you're interested. Some swag there on the wall, CarCraft Classic shirts. So yeah, there's our signs. Just got those. Just went up to uh, the manufacturer and picked those up up in North Carolina. Actually, they're made in Detroit. He just happened to be down there for a show, so we met him there. But anyway, don't forget that we also sell Riddler, American Racing, U.S. Mags, and Billet Specialty Wheels for your classic car or truck. This is our wheel area where we normally have wheel and tire packages. But as you can see, we are completely sold out at the moment. And inventory has been extremely difficult to get with the virus, but uh, we're looking to replenish inventory here shortly. So keep an eye on our site. Give me a call if you need a wheel and tire package. So here we go back into what's become square body heaven. <laughs> We've got uh, this 84 K 10. We've got to do a little bit of work to it, get the AC working and button up some other things. Got an 87. Short bed C10 there. That one sold and headed to Florida. Got some really cool classics, an old Z28. That one sold as well. This beautiful red 64 C10 is available. It's a long wheelbase truck, but man, it's as cool as it gets. Side exit exhaust, angry small block with a big cam in it. Oh, it's cool. Got the 68 Nova, 81 Corvette, 1970 C10. 78 C10, 76 C10, 85 C10 being built for a customer in Texas. Got some beautiful stuff here, man. Look at this cool dually. Regular cab. I repeat, regular cab. 1987 dually with a big block. We're going to have a video on that one soon. Just fell behind a little bit. So today we're going to cover the Corvette. And then we'll get to the dually. We'll get that up on the site as well. There's another 87 short box sold to a local guy here. Just buttoning up a few things for him. Well, here we go. Check out this iconic muscle car. You're going to have to forgive me in this video. You may hear me whimper a little. You may hear me even shed a tear. But I'm in love with this car. Look at their body style. These C3 Corvettes, man, they are just iconic in every way. Just the body lines on this thing are just incredible. Look down the side of that car. You won't see another one like that anymore. Those days are over. I've got so much to tell you about this car, I don't even know where to start. It came to us from a local gentleman his name is Will. Great guy. Lifelong hot rodder. And uh, he asked us to market the car for him. You know, most of the inventory we have we own, but we do consign vehicles from time to time, and this is one of them. I tell you, the story on this car is incredible, and it starts with Hendrix Performance. Now, if you're a car guy or a car gal, you know what Hendrix Performance is. This is a uh, facility in North Carolina where Rick Hendricks has uh, his personal collection of cars, a museum, and then they do sell some classic vehicles as well. 
And this was one that was in the collection. It was sold to my customer, Will, back in, I believe, 2004. So we've got all the provenance, all the paperwork from when he bought the car from, from Rick Hendricks, who's, you know, an icon himself. You know, this guy is uh, a lifelong car guy as well. He's got a long line of GM dealerships. And, of course, he's been involved in NASCAR racing forever. And uh, I'm proud to have one of his vehicles here at our shop. I really am. It's, it's an incredible honor. And this is an incredible car. So what's so incredible about this? Aside from the fact that it's a 68 Corvette convertible, and 68 was the first year for the C3. For those of you that don't know, uh, for the Corvette purists watching this video, please forgive me. I know you know a lot more than I'll ever know about these Corvettes, but this is, again, the first year, the inaugural year, so to speak, for the C3 Corvette. So you get the chrome rear bumper, you get the chrome front bumper. And one of the things I know are 68 only are uh, these door handles. Kind of tricky. You got to push down from the top and you have to push that button, uh, 68 only. And there was a couple things that were 68 only, but not here to give you a history lesson on Corvettes, but I do want to tell you more about this car. So again, it came from Hendrix Performance up there in North Carolina. And my customer, Will, proceeded to not restore, but repair and upgrade anything that he could with the intention of driving this vehicle. Will's just not the kind of guy that's going to buy a Corvette, especially an iconic one like a 68, especially a convertible. He's not the kind of guy to buy the vehicle and then just let it sit. He wanted to drive it, so he went through the exhaust. He went through the brakes. He actually pulled the original 327, 300-horse motor because it was just old and tired, and he replaced it with another 327, 350 horse. So it actually got a power upgrade. But before the car ever left Hendrick Performance, he actually had these cool American Racing torque thrust wheels installed with brand new Michelin tires. Whoop. Sorry about that. Okay, there we go. Still getting used to this gimbal I used to shoot these videos, but anyway car is incredible. One of the other things super cool about this car is that it's mostly original. And the number one thing that everybody wants to know, is the paint original? It sure is. This is an original Le Mans Blue 68 Corvette paint job. And it's got its dings. It's got its little, let's see if I can zoom out a little bit. I guess that's it. It's got its patina, it's got its nicks, it's got its scratches. But as everybody says in the business, they're only original once. I don't care what you're collecting. That adds value to any collectible, let alone a 1968 Corvette. Look at the hood on that thing. It's just gorgeous. Le Mans blue interior. But before we get to the interior, I'm going to show you the top. It's got the black convertible top. I'm going to walk inside in a few minutes and show you we've also got the matching Le Mans blue hard top to go with the vehicle. There's some more of that patina character, whatever you want to call it, with the line from where the, uh, the hard top was installed on the car. Now, from the factory, this is a four-wheel disc brake car. Power steering. Let's get up under the hood and show you what's going on there. Another thing I love about 68, I'm not sure if it's 68 only to be honest with you, but this little panel behind the cowl, so cool how that pops up and moves forward to uh, reveal the uh, windshield wipers. And then when you turn them off, of course, they're, it's kind of a hidden windshield wiper setup. Super cool. Okay, so what do we see under the hood here? Again, this engine compartment has been gone through. Everything in here has been gone through to hopefully get you to a place where this car is completely reliable. I've driven it. goes down the road great. doesn't run hot. doesn't leak. It's a great car. And again, as I mentioned before, it originally was born as this badge says, 
with the 327 300 horse motor. A 1968, of course. And then it was treated to a 1967 320 cubic inch 350 horsepower motor. And that's what's been rebuilt and installed in this car. And I have all the paperwork to show that. Got a new alternator here. Got the correct um, exhaust manifolds. Got the dual master cylinder here. It does have power disc brakes, as I mentioned before. It does have power steering. I don't know if you can see that down there. Hopefully you can. I know it's a bright day. Got the ignition, the original ignition system still in the car. Let's get you around to the other side. All right. There we go. So again, tried and true, bulletproof, small block, 350 horsepower. Just the perfect setup for this car. Looks like it's got a new pulley on the water pump there. Radiator looks to be nice and clean. Just a nice, respectable engine compartment. Power steering, power brake car. Glass is in good shape. Super cool little Corvette. Maybe it has something to do with my age. I'm not sure, but I just love the C3s. It's like the sexiest body style ever. I mean, those lines just don't quit. And when you sit in that, in that driver's seat, it's like the cockpit on a fighter jet. It's just really super awesome. You guys have heard me drool about Corvettes before, so forgive me. But I'm just in love with this. And I love Le Mans Blue, you know? It's my favorite Chevy color. Uh, the only thing I don't like on the exterior of this car is the color of that license plate. That green just clashes with the blue, but check that out. You even get a classic license plate. Georgia 1968 classic plate with it. Lights work, gauges work. Car's in ready to drive condition. Tires got plenty of tread on them. Like I said, they were installed uh, brand new out there at Hendrix Performance. All right, let's take a look inside. Mostly original interior minus, um, let's see, the seat covers. Door panels, you know, got some spots on them where, you know, they show their wear. But again, you want original. That's what you're going to have. Got the VIN tag right there. Let's see. Rockers are in great shape. Car's been stored indoors. Man, I love that blue. Can't have enough blue on a car as far as I'm concerned. It's got an aftermarket uh, steering wheel. I don't think that's an original Teak steering wheel, but it very well may be. As I mentioned before, the gauges do work. Let's see if we can show you that whole seat cover there. There you go. Let's fire this sucker up. Actually, let's do this. Let's give you a look at the dash and everything. As I mentioned, the gauges do work. Got the original carpet kit. Got the original dash pad, which has not cracked because, again, this car has been stored indoors. I don't know why my phone just flipped over like that, but we'll take it. Let's see if I can get that. There we go. Got the middle console. All those gauges are in working order. And what I'd like to do now is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire it up. And I'm going to put down the phone for a moment. Show you the rest of the console here. I'll put down the phone in a minute. And I'm going to put the top down so you guys can get a look at this beautiful. There you go. Hopefully you can see that with the sun. 
little cargo area. Not much for a Corvette, but who cares? Got a Corvette. So yeah, I'll put the phone down in just a minute, and uh, we'll put that top down so you can get a look at what this baby looks like with our top down. That's the annoying key buzzer even works on this original car. There we go. Nothing like it. The rumble of a 68 Corvette, baby. Dual exhaust, V8, turbo hydromatic, 350 transmission. And again, I can't stress enough, guys, that this thing is road ready. And gals, for that matter. This 68 is ready for the road. No issues to address at the moment. It is a classic car, so things do break, but this one has been gone through thoroughly. Wait till I show you all the paperwork for everything that's been done just since my uh, customer has owned it. I hear the first responders out there going to help somebody. Got to thank those guys every day and gals. Awesome to have on our side. Okay, I'm going to drop it here so you can hear the exhaust while I'm putting the top down. Be right back. go take a look just a little bit better with the top down I would say it's nice to know you have a nice fresh top with no tears no threads coming apart, no holes. That soft top is, is in great shape. Sweet. Again, original paint. Sorry to be redundant, but make sure you guys understand. We've got an original, iconic muscle car here. Man, it's got a 
imagine cruising down A18 in Florida with that bad boy. Beautiful, beautiful car. Those American racing wheels are awesome. I got another surprise for you guys and gals. I've got the original wheels inside. I'll show you that here in just a second. There's that interior. Again, seat covers have been uh, redone in the factory correct uh, design for a 68 Corvette. But everything else in there is original. Dash pad, door panels, carpet, middle console, and again, those gauges are working. Everything's in working order. She's ready to be enjoyed. Let's go take a quick peek inside. And I will tell you a little bit more about the history of this car. Again, it came from Hendrix Performance. I guess about, actually I think I said 2004 before, I apologize, it's 2014. I think Will's had the car six years. So here is that hard top I mentioned. It also has original paint on it, or appears to be Le Mans blue fits right on the car nice and snug just the way it's supposed to so that of course of course will be included with the sale let's see here there it is glass is in great shape rubber going around is not all eaten up or rotten uh, Here's those tires. Let's see, here we go. At the Corvette rallies, center caps and bands. At the correct skinny white wall, old style tires. At all four and those also will be included in the sale. All right, let's take a look at some paperwork. Here is what you get from Hendrix, Hendrix Performance when you buy a vehicle from them. Class, you know, A1A class, uh, high class organization over there. Can only aspire to be as good as those guys, but uh, we're working on it. Get this nice leather pouch. Get your own little pen. A little zip drive with some photographs of the car. Business cards of the salesman. And you get this for your provenance too. A letter from Hendrix thanking you for your business. There's some photographs of the car that, that they published. Super awesome. And this will all be included with, in the sale. And here is that uh, original 327 that was in the car when, uh, when our customer Will bought it. So that's kind of cool that that goes with the car as well. But most importantly, a list of repairs or upgrades that Will did. Here's the original ad. Uh, from Hendrix Power Sports or Performance. More of that provenance from Hendrix. Let's see here. Invoice for the wheels and tires, the vehicle itself. And that's the right word, you know, what they put in their ad, the word survivor. That's exactly what this car is. Yes, it's had some upgrades, and every single piece is not original but uh, it's it's very close to being all original and uh, it's ready for the road most importantly sometimes with those barn finds you know you got to spend a bunch of money on them to get them road ready this one is completely ready to go okay so now we're starting to get into the uh, the repairs that were done by my customer will and as I mentioned to you he's done quite a few so this is a long list of items that he's done brakes Radiator hoses, let's see, whatever, distributor, let's see, headlight vacuum motor. We all know on the Corvettes those don't like to stay operational, so that's been gone through. Bezels, clean the engine bay, replace the motor, 
water pump, rebuild the motor, tune the uh, tune the new engine and carburetor, voltage regulator. I mean, so much has been done to this car. And we actually put a battery in it as well because it had been sitting a little while at Will's house. And uh, I guess the battery just wasn't working when we got it. So it's got a brand new battery. We got the premium battery with uh, the three-year warranty. So she is ready to be enjoyed. Corvette enthusiasts take notice. An affordable, original paint, C3, convertible Corvette in Le Mans blue. Power disc brakes, power steering from the factory. It's got new 15-inch American Racing torque thrust wheels with brand new Michelin tires. Everything's been gone through, and this mostly original, iconic C3 68 Corvette convertible is ready to be enjoyed. Sorry you had to listen to me gush so much about this car, but I really do love it. God knows they're not building them this cool anymore. So, remember, we can help with uh, financing. We can help with uh, delivery. And we can even help customize the car. One thing it does not have is AC. And uh, I think we can get that done for you for somewhere in the $3,100 range. That's parts and labor. A nice vintage air unit. Keep you nice and cool on those rainy days when you can't put the top down. So just let us know. Shipping, financing, minor customization. We can certainly help you guys and gals out there that, that are interested in this vehicle. Now let's get to the brass tax. The asking price for this vehicle is going to be $24,500. Definitely affordable, an affordable price for a beautiful iconic C3. Convertible 68, baby. I know you've heard me say that a million times. I apologize, but what can I tell you? I love what I do. $24,500. JJ Best Bank is our preferred finance company. Real smooth, quick approvals, fair terms, good interest rates. Just give me a holler if you need to, uh, to get in contact with them. Now, my name is Phil Genetempo. Again, my company is uh, Carcraft Classics, and we're located at 321 Canton Road here in Cumming, Georgia, 30040. I can be reached at the shop at 470-239-4977 or on my cell at 770-317-1415. Again, that's 770-317-1415. And feel free to shoot me an email at carcraftclassics at gmail.com if you have any questions or you'd like to schedule a test drive. Thank you so much for watching the video and please subscribe to our channel and give me a thumbs up down below. I'd really appreciate it. Have a great day and God bless America.